morning. I'm going to coffee with one of my friends, Megan, right now. Um, I'm kind of late, so I'm just starting it like this. But this is my outfit. If you see, ignore the mess. This is my outfit. Yeah, I will link everything that I'm wearing in this vlog. But um, yeah, this is my outfit. And then I'm wearing, I have my glasses in my hand. And I have lipstick and um, a little powder puff thing because... I am bringing, putting those in my bag right now, but I'm just getting my bag situated. So this is the bag that I'm wearing with it. And I got this on TikTok shop for like $11. Um, and pe so many people always ask me where I got this bag. And I'm like, I can't believe I got it on TikTok shop. I'm not really a TikTok shop type of person, um, but that is where I got it. So organizing this, but in true me fashion, I will be putting this bag in another bag because I'm gonna bring my vlog camera and my camera camera and those things need a big bag so this is going to be a small bag in my bigger bag i think i'm going to do this one because this one matches like the outfit the best out of all of my bigger bags um so here you go okay anyway adding a little bit of my tom ford soleil blanc oh i don't want to get on my shirt but this stuff is like so nice and so shiny and then you know what maybe i'll spray a little on my legs running out the door so I'm man and i are at breakfast she's hard at work right now this is for my mom mom i'm working she's working oh my god is your mom gonna watch my vlog yes tell her to watch it and then she can see you hard at work okay so i got a side of fingerling potatoes this is a, like actually a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be not fingerling potatoes right just potatoes um so i got potatoes this is bigger than i thought it was going to be um but it was only like eight dollars or something um Look at my new little phone case. This is really cute. But anyway, yeah, we're having a little breakfast. Yummy. It's gluten free and vegan. Gluten free and vegan. This is not gluten, or this is gluten free, but it's not vegan. It's vegetarian, it said. Had to get my side of ketchup because it came with ranch, and I hate ranch, um, but I love ketchup. Oh my God, peanut! No, you're gonna hang up on Auntie Mac. Sorry, Peanut was just like literally grabbing my phone away from me. Okay, Dom and I are heading to the Cheesecake Factory. This is my outfit. Just wearing like my little Samba sneakers and a sweater. Um, and this is my uh, easel that I paint with sometimes. This is a portrait I did of Dom. And then, this is his of me. Very accurate. Bye, little munchkin. Oh my! It's like you knew you were on the camera. You're so cute, it's crazy. Oh my goodness. I just want to eat you instead of cheesecake. Munch, munch, munch. Oh my pasta. So Dom and I are deciding what to get. And, oh, why is it like not, okay. Wait, why is it not focusing? meat like I, I eat fish but I don't eat meat anymore but the truffle honey chicken looks like right up my alley like truffle honey but I don't think I'm gonna do that obviously I don't eat chicken but I think I'm gonna get um these skinny delicious tacos or shrimp I think that seems pretty good but if I still ate meat I'd be getting that one for sure I used to always get the chicken Madeira and Dom chat GPT the best um, food at Cheesecake Factory, and that was number one. So clearly I have good taste, but yeah. I'm trying to get him to get that though. I, my mom has gotten that before and it was really good. It ain't. I think shrinkflation has hit the bread because they definitely used to fill this thing up. It didn't make the basket. I, didn't the basket used to be bigger too? Like two pieces of bread. They used to fill it up with at least like four pieces, I swear. Shrinkflation. Oh, this one's mine. I want the whole thing. I was kidding. I'm actually letting Dom eat the good brown bread. Don't think that I'm mean. I'm not mean because some that one person commented and said that I was emasculating you in San Diego. So I want you guys to know he can have as much of the brown bread as he wants. Okay, food is in in a 
approximately 10 minutes in true cheesecake factory fashion there seems to be a suspicious white sauce on here and i don't like mayonnaise but don tasted it and said it wasn't mayonnaise so we're gonna just try to pretend that that's not there but yeah. um and then i guess this is why it's skinny licious because my side is just some cauliflower <laughs> yours looks really good Yours is some nice plating. I wonder what Gordon Ramsay would say about this plating. How is it? It's good. Okay, so trying the vanilla bean cheesecake. Let's see if I like it. This is I got this a long, long time ago, and I really remember like liking it. And it has vanilla mousse on it. Dom is dying right now to jump in there, even though he's full of brick. Um, but yeah, I will update on my opinion of cheesecake after this. So we're back from our little cheesecake factory date. Um, it felt like we were there for like 30 minutes, but it was more like an hour. But that was with like both of us eating and we got dessert so we got the cheesecake um the cheesecake was actually really good i still prefer like the light chiffon cheesecake that my mom makes as far as like the consistency of it but it was really good and we got the vanilla bean one like i said and i'm like if my mom could make a vanilla bean one of that chiffon one i'm like that would be probably really really good that would be like probably my favorite um but but i do like the lemon because she like put some lemon in it anyway but we went on a little walk around the area that the Cheesecake Factory is in after that just to like, I don't know, get some movement in after the food. And then we were talking about what kind of dog we'd ever want if we got a second dog. And we were like, we probably couldn't get a big dog because they're like so much work. And then this girl immediately after we were saying that, like this girl was walking this dog and it was a uh, Husky Malamu samoyed mix and it was so cute and so sweet and i was like i don't know i could deal with this like she was like pressing up against us and she was just like so happy and cute and she was so pretty so anyway dom and i are going to turn on master chef because we have an episode to catch up on for that we really like uh competition cooking shows and yeah we're just gonna like chill the rest of the night but that was our little cheesecake factory update cheesecake update good morning mr nutter butters good morning i have a pillow on the couch because i couldn't really sleep last night and so sometimes when that happens i come out to the couch just to like chill for a little bit with my pillow and i just left it out here and now he's cuddling it you're cuddling Oh my gosh, so cute. This is definitely all you need. He needs a really, really big groom, guys. Like, we're going to groom him before we go to St. Louis in a few days. I groom him myself, but yeah, he needs a little grooming. But you are just so cute. This is the best part of the vlog, is when you are in it. More peanut. Look at what Peanut does if I'm not petting him. To be quiet. Good morning, you guys. Or should I say good afternoon but it feels kind of like morning because i didn't really get up until like 11 because like i said i couldn't really sleep last night so slept in quite a lot so dom and i are gonna go in an area around here and just like stroll around window shop maybe grab like juice coffee i want to bring peanut but i really don't want to subject him to the heat too long it's still kind of hot here which i'm wearing long sleeves and pants <laughs> whatever um so but i don't want to subject him to the heat too long because he's just a little guy and he doesn't do super well in the heat for like super long like he gets you know really tired and really panty and so i don't really want to do that to him if we're going to be out a while anyway so yeah we're just gonna stroll around have a really casual sunday um enjoy the weather when it's 100 here i think it's like 100 um it's not like that hot which sounds crazy but like it's not that like 100 degrees here with like the dryness it's like it's I, i'd equivalent it to like 80 degrees elsewhere where there's like humidity and stuff um uh, that's just my opinion 
it's still hot don't get me wrong like it's not like this is still kind of crazy to be wearing in 100 degrees obviously but it's not that hot and i think all this week and upcoming like i think we're finally getting out of like the really hot weather like the hundreds and everything and it's like gonna be in the 90s even i think there was like a day where it was like a high of the 80s and that's like good weather like that's that's pretty freaking good weather for here and but we're going to st louis on or uh, thursday um so we'll probably miss when it starts to like get really nice here but then when we come back hopefully it's like really leaned into it and we'll just come back to nice beautiful weather so yeah we're just gonna go have a little day dom was talking about maybe going to the pool later which i'm like i don't know we used to have a salt water pool here and then now we have chlorine and i just my hair like the extensions and stuff i don't know i don't like the idea of like chlorine on my extensions i've done a really good job of taking care of these extensions i've had them for a year and a half a year and a half and they are still really good so I don't want to subject them to chlorine if I can keep from it. I really honestly, would, I would be one of those people who wears like a swimming cap to go to the pool. Like, I don't care if it looks funny as long as like I keep my hair nice, like that's more important. Um, so, but I don't have one. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I can just like clip my hair up and like avoid the water, but that's like not fun. Like if I'm in the pool, I'm like, I wanna be like splashing and jumping and dunking and all the things um but yeah so we'll see if we make it to the pool i don't know i don't know i'm also going to, i wanted to like get a couple outfit pictures done today for like fall and like give the inspo and stuff we will see if that happens i'm i'm unsure if that's going to happen today i might just kind of save some of my like really cute fall outfits and get content in them um in st louis where it's like it looks a little bit more like fall it feels a little bit more like fall and i might just uh take some reels this week to give the inspo and not actually like go out and about in scottsdale and get the content because it is just a little hard here i mean everything looks like the desert um there are palm trees and cacti and the trees are all like stick type of trees like it's not it doesn't really like, give fall vibes no matter what so i'm like I'll, maybe i'll just save the outfits for a place that actually feels like fall i just threw in some makeup uh into my hair but by the way this is what my hair looks like on like i dysoned it thursday night and i've been brushing it out ever since and this is what it looks like so the the third day after dicing it at night so thursday i dysoned it friday saturday sunday brushing it out every day and this is what it looks like because I know I have questions on like how to maintain the curls. I typically don't really maintain them. I'm more so just kind of like put my hair in a ponytail at night and then brush it out. And then the curl is still there. Like it's still like a nice look. It's just not what it is like when you first do it. And then I have on these uh, pants, these ribbed flare leggings from Buff Bunny. Um, I love them so much. I have on these Adidas Thambas. Um, I believe this top is from Joa Brown. Um, and then this sports bra is from Aster the label, I want to say. Um, anything that is like still available, anything that like I wear in these videos and stuff, um, I'll make sure that I... Oh, hello. Anyway, anything that is available still, I'll make sure that I link. Um, I'll post like a lot of LTK links and anything that's not available... Um, I will try to find like the best dupes for it that I can like the best similar products and post those on LTK um, I'll try to post like Everything that I am wearing like throughout all of these any vlog that I do in the future um, So yeah, we are gonna go have a little day. You look like you want to go, but you also look like you want to sleep <laughs> bag secured we got croissants i got a regular croissant dom got a chocolate croissant i'm not really a big fan of chocolate croissants i feel like chocolate and croissant i don't know it just doesn't go together for me but he really likes them so um a croissant for the, each of us maybe i'll try this one and change my mind and then i got a double shot americano 
Um, and that was a cute little place. The croissants look really, really good. They had a lot of stuff in there that looked really yummy. Okay, trying the croissant. Very good. As per usual. I wonder if I should have asked them to toast it. Like, I don't think it's like toasted, but it's still really good nonetheless. I love croissants. Okay, now trying Dom's chocolate croissant. It, does, it doesn't seem like it goes together. But it mm, kind of reminds me a little bit of like Nutella. And I don't really care for Nutella. I'm realizing in this vlog, I'm talking a lot about foods I don't like. And less about foods that I really do like. I'm not that picky, I swear. It's just, it just so happens that a few foods that are being brought up in this vlog, I just don't really tend to like. I mean, like, it's good. Like, it, there's nothing bad about a croissant or chocolate i just don't think that they're like they go together super well For a second, I thought it didn't have a tie. Just so cute. I really want a black trench coat as well. I just want like a million trench coats, honestly. But this is really cute. And then maybe with this or like the the camel color sweater under it. But I really like this a lot. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything today because I don't really like impulse buying. I like to shop around and like find things that I like the best. Um, and then if this happens to be the one I like, best look at it, but this is like of course very cute. And then we got this on under. So Okay, we're heading home. We just tried the Apple Vision Pro, like spontaneously. Dom just kinda like walked into the Apple store and then we were like looking at it and they it took minimal talking into for us to, or really for me to be like, yeah, I'll do a demo. Um, but it was like really cool. The only things that I would say are number one, it was like really heavy and it was like pushing down on my cheeks. Like I'll put a little clip in. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't 
like that. Like I don't, I feel like it would make my cheeks and like skin sag over time. Um, and I just, I don't know, I kind of have like big cheeks and I'm like, I don't want it to like, I don't know, age me. Um, but also it was like, it was really, really cool. I liked how easily it could like pick up what you were doing. Like you could have your hands like down in your lap and like be clicking stuff and moving stuff. It was like crazy. But I just feel like there was um, something that the woman showed us where it shows what you, like it can show you like sporting events and stuff. And like if they're taken in this circle. Sorry, battery died. Um, where were we though? So it's like you can get like immersed in like sporting events and things like that. Like movies and everything where like they showed us like a clip of Avatar like 3D and it was like really, really good. The and then like the videos and photos and stuff that you can take on there, it's like they're immersive. It's like they're around you. And it's like on some mode that you take these pictures and videos and everything on and it like feels like you're in it. Um, which is like really, really cool. But I think for me, I don't like the idea that people would rather have like that type of technology like going on. Cause that will happen. Like that's the way that the world is like kind of going. I think like maybe not the Apple Vision Pro cause it was like really heavy on my face. And I think that in order for people to like it, it's gonna have to be like a way sleeker, smaller thing. I just think that when that happens, people are gonna enjoy the real world a lot less. And that kind of scares me. I feel like that would make me not want it just cause like Dom and I were saying like, yeah, your dopamine receptors would just get fried. Like it would be like the real world just I feel like wouldn't seem as cool or like you maybe you wouldn't want to go to a sporting event because it's way like you're way more immersed kind of like in it from like all these different angles on the Apple Vision Pro. I don't know. The sun keeps going in and out and in and out. Kind of like it though. I'm liking the clouds. I'm going to go to Larry's tonight. He is a uh, like personal trainer like fitness coach type of guy he does like a lot of celebrities he actually is a uh, personal trainer or one of the personal trainers for Debo and he's really great he has like great classes so Dom and I like to go to his classes a lot and that's one of the reasons why I've seen so many results like fitness wise so we're gonna go there I'm gonna bring you along actually I want to take like a few clips of what it's like in there we're just kind of like in this dark room kind of hot in there you definitely sweat so RIP to my hair and also I don't know if you guys noticed yesterday when I was filming but like my hair started out in the day cute right like it was cute and then after we were like inside of the mall it was just stringy greasy nasty mess and that's because we like went on kind of like a decently long walk out in that area that was like the fashion square old town area we went on like a decently long walk as you saw I was wearing like full-blown like leggings and a long sleeve shirt and everything like that and I was just sweating so my makeup and my hair really took a beating after that but I mean I was it was ready for a wash anyway so washed my hair last night did it curled it and now I'm gonna go sweat my booty off at Larry's and I'm gonna have a shower again tonight so but anyway I try to like not wash my hair multiple days in a row but I literally think Guys, I literally think I'm gonna have washed it last night, tonight, tomorrow if I go to the workout because I'll need it to look good for Wednesday and also Wednesday night because I need it to look good for Thursday. Maybe I'll just skip the workout on Tuesday and only wash it like uh, tonight, so that's two nights in a row, and then wash it again Wednesday after that workout and then we go to St. Louis on Thursday night. The sun is shining. We are about to go to Larry's. Oh, I'm shiny. And I didn't take off my makeup. But I don't really have time to take it off. Okay, anyway, um, so this is what I'm wearing. I always like conceal myself when I go to Larry's because there's like a lot of jumping and everything and sports bra just like doesn't really cut it. But I have on these little like khaki green leggings from Buff Bunny. And this top is from Aloe. This is a top that Dom got me. Oh my God, it's raining. It's like sunny, but it's raining. I, that's my least favorite kind of leather. Sunny, but raining. Anyway, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna take you with me, like I said. I always live on a promise, sort of. Sometimes 
vlogs in this main area, sometimes just in a room, but we're in the main area today and today's the day I bring my camera to vlog. Okay, done with the workout. Yeah, big mistake not taking off my makeup before I went in there. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes it happens. I'll just like get a double cleanse going on when I get back. But um, yeah, we were in like the main area today instead of that room and I felt so awkward. Like I don't want to be one of those people like filming at the gym because it's like those people who do that, they're always like, they're like very fitnessy. And I'm not, so it just, it feels so awkward. So I don't even know if I got any good angles or anything. We'll see if I like put it in there. But um, that was like, yeah, it's different. So normally we're in the other room. And then tomorrow, if I make it, we're gonna do boxing. I don't think I'm making it tomorrow though. But Dom will go. Maybe I'll just send Dom with my vlog camera. Mm. I can just imagine Dom walking around as a little vlogger, like a, uh, like that one guy, uh, Casey, Casey Neistat, Casey Neistat, just like, he'd probably put in some like cool, like transitions and stuff. He always tells me to do transitions and different things like that. And I'm like, I'm not a Casey Neistat person. I'm just like, uh, we're just making like real authentic content. I feel like that's what the girls like, just like the real authentic, like not overproduced type of content. I've just had a shower and now I'm about to dive into this salad and go. I love salad and go. Um, oh, I've gotten a lot of DMs about people saying that they love salad and go. It's like Arizona and I think it's like in Texas and places like that. Um, but I've also heard people in person be like, no, I'm not that great. But I don't know. I love it. I get the roasted autumn salad. Um, I get tofu in it because the options are tofu and chicken, I think. And I don't eat chicken. So I get that and then I get the balsamic vinegar instead of the vinaigrette that they give. Um, yeah, dinner tonight, so good. I, I don't know how people don't couldn't like it. Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm just about to take my hair out and I thought I would come on here and catch you up because I did not. Um, I didn't film yesterday. I had quite a late night, Monday night and it caused for me to be just extremely, extremely tired uh, yesterday. So we left off, I went to Larry's. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. Um, I forget like what I said about it, but it was, I was expecting to take you guys there and show you a day of like um, in the room that we normally go into, um, but we were out in the main area and we did a lot of like uh, machine workouts and things like that which sometimes we do if you'd like to talk like me to talk about like kind of the fitness journey that i've been on i will talk about it um there's been i've heard people saying that they think that i'm on um ozempic i'm not on ozempic i'm not on any drugs similar to ozempic i'm not on any thing like that in general at all um and honestly, like if you look at my progress over the past year, it, it's like not as drastic as um, the people who have taken Ozempic. It's like, it's not as quick. Once it kind of started happening, it was like very random that it started happening. And it was kind of like, I just made a few changes and I started seeing results. And so I was like, oh, well this is great. So I'm gonna keep it up. I had a little weight loss thing. Um, years in the past and that was done in a very like unhealthy way and then this time it's been like a very very healthy way so um if you would like me to talk about that i can i know it's like a touchy subject and like i'm not a professional so um i also like have not said really anything about it up until now because i don't really know how to like approach it like and i also didn't want to speak prematurely I don't know, it's just weight and like fat loss and things like that, especially if you're not a professional, it can be 
a bit of like a scary subject to broach. My hair is like not clean by the way. Like I did it last night on kind of like greasy hair. So we will see if this looks good today. I'm unsure. I'm unsure it's even gonna hold very well because it is quite greasy. Working on some grease ball hair today. I don't think this is looking very good. Look at how cute this mug is. It says, um, protect, attack, snap. And it's so cute. This is literally my favorite mug. Like I'm in love with it, a little baby Yoda. And oh, like he look, he says snack and he has a little frog in his mouth. Have you watched um, The Mandalorian with little baby Yoda in it? You know that he likes to eat frogs, which I don't condone eating frogs, but like for baby Yoda, it's cute. I got a belt hole puncher on Amazon because um, a lot of my belts are far too big at this point. Um, and some of them are just like, they can be donated or sold. Some of them are kind of like stretched out, like, cause I was like trying to get them so like t much tighter. So that didn't really, um, pan out. Wait, what am I even saying? So that doesn't, that's not, they're not viable to be donated or sold. But anyway, one of my belts that is really uh, big on me is my, one of my Ralph Lauren belt. And this is one of my very favorite belts. It's so nice. I really like it because um, the like the flap goes behind, and then you punch the hole in there, so it's like you can't see the flap, um, which I really like. This is like my favorite belt. I love the little horsey on the buckle, and it's reversible. However, it is just way too big, and it doesn't it doesn't do what a belt is supposed to do. Um, so I got this hole puncher for some belts and I'm just going to DIY this ish. I could take it somewhere and have them do it, but I don't know. This seems like more of what I want to do. I need to like test out the sizes of these holes. I'm going to start smaller and if I need to go bigger, I'll go bigger. I really don't want to ruin this belt and I really, really, really hope that I don't. Um, now how in the world? You know what? I'm gonna start on a crappier belt before I do this nice belt. I'm gonna have to really work with this once we're done with the belt. Clearly I'm in a, a mode today of rambling and I was just sitting on scissors. Okay, here's a crappier belt. And as you can see, like maybe you can or can't, I don't know. It's like stretched out. No, no going back. Oh, well it did work, but my hole is too small. It actually like gets it really, really easily. It worked like a charm, you guys. Like a dang charm. Okay, time to move on to the Spency belt. It's not like that expensive, but you know, it's nice. It's not, it's not cheap. I will say that it's not cheap. However, I do find me rationalizing a bit higher prices for like certain accessories just because you wear them so often and like you hopefully have them for years and years and years. Like I could have this belt forever if I don't screw it up. I'm so scared. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Don't mess this up. Please, 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 please. It's reversible, so I also have to make sure that it looks good on both sides. All right, this hole's too small. But let me see if it stretches when I put this jigger through. Oh, you do. You work perfectly. Oh. Wait, this is exciting. Let's see. Oh, it's tight. Oh, tight. Or I'm like, ow! That is not something you'd want to sit on stab myself let's see okay that is much better feels a lot tighter i can still put it lower i typically like have my belt kind of right here like right at belly button maybe a little bit above belly button and i can still bring it down but right here is about where i use it it's not like tight tight okay so we've punched holes and now i can wear this belt today so it worked so i'm gonna link it i'm gonna link it i test so you can just use and feel confident using it. No, we could walk over there real quick. 
Good morning, you guys. Okay, it's now Thursday, and I'm realizing that this is pretty much becoming the blog of me thinking that I can bite off more than I can chew in a day. Um, I was, like, looking back at some of the clips because, like, I upload them to my laptop, and then I, like, just take a peep at them before I, like, edit together everything. And um, I was looking at him, I was like, is this going to be a totally and utterly chaotic vlog? I'm unsure. Um, sometimes when I'm about to travel somewhere, I feel like I just, like, I try to get so much done in a short amount of time, then especially losing Tuesday from just exhaustion. I'm like, I, I think I can do so much more than I can. So anyway, last night update, I can put in a couple mini clips of me grooming peanuts. I didn't really film that he was like okay with it he's getting better and better um but i'm not gonna say his haircut turned out great that's that's one thing it didn't turn out great but he's also he's just kind of wiggly he hates his legs being trimmed he hates his face being trimmed the buzzer part of it where i'm like shearing off his like fur shearing anyway i'm like cutting off of his fur with like the uh thing that, the vacuum cutter thing um, he's like fine with that on his body. He just gets really weird about like when we start trimming up his legs and his uh, face. But anyway, um, I was trying to get a clip of me like blow drying him with my Dyson um, and I accidentally pointed it at his face and I also put it on um, like the medium heat and like a lower blow or maybe it was like fully low heat. Anyway, it's, it's totally fine for him. Don't worry about it. I'm not like burning him or anything, but I did. He does not like anything blowing in his face. So if I go like like in his face he like freaks out and I actually pointed the Dyson at his face and he just was like oh and then he like zoomed off um so I think I got that on camera so I hope that I did but anyway um I just got coffee with my friend Dom and I are leaving in a few hours to go to St. Louis I did not finish packing I started packing did not finish packing um didn't do my hair didn't pack about to head back and pack for my life I am like pretty meticulous about packing like I want to make sure that I have um, like all the right pieces for outfits and things because I do want to get content obviously while I'm away like it's 10 days of like being away so um, I want to make sure that like I'm getting all of the proper attack like pieces put together for good outfits and stuff that also makes packing very heavy like I don't know I like I want to hopefully stick everything in one big suitcase and then just have my carry-on as well but every time I go on a trip that's like, you know, this long and I have like so many outfits and stuff that I want to do, I'm like, a lot of times, especially like with the shoes and the toiletries and everything, I end up bringing two suitcases, like my big one, my medium one, and my carry-on. So we'll see what I can, I don't know, we'll see what I can do. Um, but anyway, about to head home and get the show on the road. I just hope that if this vlog is very chaotic and you're seeing like the chaos going on in my brain, um, I hope that maybe you find it a little bit relatable or find it funny. I don't know. I'm really kind of showcasing um, my chaotic side. So I hope that you find it fun and like maybe relatable. I don't know. I don't know. So just got some stuff in from Merit. Um, they sent me their Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Their, uh, what is this? The blending brush, um, the minimalist, what does that say? Perfecting complexion stick. So it's like concealer, foundation, whatever. Um, and then it's, I think it has like multi-use. And then um, they sent me their priming moisturizer. So I'm glad I went and got the mail before I left. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try these out soon. Also got a couple pajama sets. Well, actually no, this is a pajama set from Adorme and then a red robe from Adore Me. I had like a credit on there that was just hanging on there forever. Um, and I was like, okay. And it was like, buy one, get one free. And I, I had a credit for one, but I had to get another one free. So I got these. I can't really tell what them look like, but yeah, I feel like these would be cute. So I'll just like pack these for St. Louis too. Okay, I need to make a snack and I'm trying to use up just like some of the things that we have in our refrigerator that are gonna go bad before we leave. So, Okay, I think I'm gonna make um, some toast with brie and honey. That's what I have every single morning 
I already had one this morning, but I think I'm gonna make it again because I have this croissant bread. This is the best bread ever. Like a lot of times I use like sprouted bread, like Ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread. But I saw this, this croissant bread. I love croissants. And I've been eating stuff on this. Like I've been having this sometimes, actually more than sometimes, kind of a lot. Like as you can see, this is my second loaf and it's almost gone. So I'm gonna eat this with some brie and honey and truffle salt. Some croissant bread with brie, brie melted onto it. And then the bread has to be toasted, brie melted onto it, drizzle honey and truffle salt it is so good. Come here, El Chapo. I'm calling him El Chapo because he's just chopped up. Like his hair looks so choppy. We did not do very well on him. I'm so sorry. We were like, I don't know. I was not feeling grooming him last night. I was like tired and I was like, I have so much to do. Um, but yeah, he's looking pretty choppy. We're gonna have to, oh, he's going between my legs, hello. We're gonna have to fix you up in St. Louis, huh? We used to look cute. You are still the most handsome boy on the planet, regardless of the choppiness of you. Hello. Hey, sweetie pie. I love you so much. Oh my goodness, so small. We have to fix you. Poor thing. Also, I'm not gonna show like a close up, but I've been painting my own nails, including my toenails, and I feel like they look really good. They're little fringe tips, but that's not the feet. Um, I also been doing, yeah, these nails. They look pretty good. They just like, they peel off a lot quicker when I do it myself. I don't have like all of the right tools, but I do have like the gel and like a little fringe tip um, nail polish thing. And then like a, I have um, like a filer and the UV light. So they look decent, but. I'm gonna punch a hole in this belt too, not measuring it at all. Cause this one, I don't I forgot I even had it. It was just like in my suitcase. When is it officially classified as too many belts? My pepper mayo order came. Ah! Okay, wait, I'm really excited about this, but now I have to like unpack a lot of the stuff that I've been packing. And pack this stuff because I'll take content in it in St. Louis. And it's just like really cute stuff. I'm really excited about it. Um, but yay, it's here. But now I have to like take stuff out and pack this stuff. <sighs> okay, a lot of chaos going on here, but Kiehl's just sent me their Ultra Body Mega Moisture. I never know how to say that word, like squalling, 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 I don't know. This is a brand I really like for a bunch of like lotions and skincare and different things like that. And oh, so exciting. This was right there. These are aloe leggings. And I love that they're green. I love, like I've mentioned a million times, I love green. Um, yeah, I am like, that is just the nicest little gift to throw in there. I'm like, because I love aloe and I love Kiehl's and I'm just like, it's just a perfect little PR package. So I thought I would share that because you'll see me in these for sure. I also got sent this overnight skin oil from, I always never know how to pronounce this either, La Octane. It's like French, so I'm sure I didn't say that right but I love this packaging. It looks like a fruit. I don't know what fruit, but it looks very fruity. So I'm gonna bring this with me to St. Louis and try it out. Okay, so I'm pretty much done packing. Um, let me actually just reopen this up. Kind of show you guys just how much I'm bringing. My God, okay. We literally have like one, two, three, four, five, six purses, but they're all different. They're all different from the last. So it looks like my prediction on my fall trends video of like the possibility of it like being kind of warm in St. Louis and still wearing the fall stuff anyway and just sweating will be coming true. Um, I could save some of this stuff for when we go back in Thanksgiving, but I don't know. I need.
need options. I want options. Like, I don't want to be limited. Like, that's my biggest fear that when I travel, is like, I'm going to be like, oh my God, like, why didn't I bring that? I'm, I'm limited. I really should have worn that. I, I could take out some stuff though. Like, and I should. I should. And then here's like the stuff that should not take up so much room, but it just does because I have like a bunch of workout stuff that I wanted to bring because I'm planning to work out a lot. So um, this whole like area right here is just like workout stuff, including my new leggings. And then I just have like a sweater here for like when I get chilly. Um, and then a like literally only two pajama pants and they take up that much room. And then um just some like t-shirts and sleepwear and shorts and stuff and then like underwear like it's just like how does this tough take up so much room i'm going to try to condense and then i'm going to try to zip everything up this is what i'm wearing to the airport also bringing my sudoku book on the plane anyway i'm going to end the vlog here and i'll start a new vlog when we're in st louis if you like this vlog please make sure to like comment subscribe until next time you can find me on instagram tiktok pinterest shop my ltk all the good things um i hope that this doesn't turn out as chaotic as i feel like it might but um if it does oh well it's just kind of kind of how i am sometimes anyway so i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye